What is up, everyone, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. In the last one, we, the Citadel was taken over by Cerberus, and then we fought, um, well, specifically, Thane fought um, a new operative, it seems like, that's working for Cerberus. Kai Lang was his name, and sadly, Thane did not make it. It kind of aggravated his already pre-existing condition, and we lost him. Oh, I love Thane so much. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club <laughs> back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Yeah, we gotta figure out this Kai Lang situation. It's very interesting, to say the least. Hmm. Hello, Javi. How you doing? I would like to visit the Citadel again. Would you? In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one. The Kai Lang human bears watching, Commander. I sense that the blood in his veins is very cold. I do too. Why, why did you cut off your own sentence with another sentence? <laughs> I didn't even click it twice. Yes. I come here before. I found something. Oh. I did not. Ooh. It's named after the ancient Asari goddess of love, sex, travel, and law. Spheres of your influence whose overlap initially baffled human human xenanthropologists. <laughs> Asari reproductive instincts are strongly exo exo <laughs> fuck man. <laughs> exogamous. Exogamous. What are these words? <laughs> Why? And before alien contact, their instincts set Asari roaming outside their kinship group to avoid mating with relatives. The journeys necessitated a system of rules governing guests, fugitives, and alliances, all watched over by the goddess Tavura. The Reapers have ignored Tavura so far, its science stations and moon-based mining equipment offering little, little strategic importance is it is likely that a destroyer will eventually be sent here to exterminate any civilians. Oh god. Let's see what we get from here. What will it be? Sorry, cruiser. Simon. Hmm, did we... I needed that. <laughs> oh, it's 100%. Okay. I'm out of here then. Um, holy! Is this, is this all sorry space? Tomorrow's. Signal confirmed. Oh, same with Reapers. <laughs> Let's see what we got on this one. Sorry, Cruiser Nefrain. I have to read those. Hmm. 
methane, notable for the large deposits of platinum discovered by Lucia colonists on the largest moon. Asari have been selling this precious metal used in some medical equipment to the Serta Foundation for less than its market value. The discount may have single-handedly saved Serta from bankruptcy, a debt that is rapidly being re repaid galaxy-wide through Serta's humanitarian efforts. The Reaper presence in the system has no doubt cut off supplies to the Foundation. We got Reapers on the way. Ah ha ha. Nice. You can't catch me. Oh, too slow. Evasion Maybe successful. Maybe next time. Get wrecked, Reapers. Or Sony. This place is really gorgeous. I love the colors. <laughs> it's so nice. I found something. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, you looked cool. <laughs> Have I seen this one before? I'm like, I can't remember which ones I've seen and which ones I haven't. <laughs> Equipment here is undamaged by Reapers. They attack on Mia Column likely taking priority. Oh god. But look how pretty it is here. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Sorry, research ships. I'll take that. Goodbye. Reapers <laughs> eluded. I'm going. Lalesa. If you guys had the opportunity to go to Mars, would you do it? Faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. Ha! <laughs> When the Reapers entered the system, they dispatched a swarm of capital ships towards Trikalan, treating the Super Collider as a greater threat than the Asari naval fleet stationed at Sav Sav Sanves. They blasted it apart, sending debris hurtling to Trikalan's surface. Several ships carrying Super Collider staff escaped before Reapers hit. Oh, nice. Sorry, engineers. Oh, we're collecting. Okay, go, go, go. Uh. <laughs> Evasion successful. Oh, that's only half of what I needed. Damn it. Reapers eluded. Ha! Give me my fuel, and I'll be on my way. Don't touch me. Stop Faster it! Faster than light jump successful. Okay, we got out. It's fine. Oh god. This one's far. Jesus. I found something. Huh. Melissa. Has 26 moons, but the SR. Uh, extracted the most valuable resource deposits from all of them long ago. The facilities have largely been forgotten in the face of greater excitement among the system's inner planets. Forgotten, but not by me. Hesperia period statue. Okay. I'm trying to remember all of them. <laughs> Fine, I'll come back. <laughs> Evasion successful. But only because I want to. Whew. Reapers eluded. See that epic dodge? That's everything. I'm out of here, even though it's so pretty here. I guess. Oh, there's a fuel depot too. Hey, Hercules. 
I thought I was gonna have some peace. Signal confirmed. I guess not. <laughs> I did not mean to exit. <laughs> I meant to scan. Interferometric ray. Ooh. Faster than light jump successful. I'm just gonna be fuel or something. Whoa, you were right there and scared me so bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't really need that much, but it's okay. Reapers eluded. Tethesius. It's like a ghost <laughs> on the bottom. Found something. Oh, nice! Right next to each other. Hey, look, it's Pharos. <laughs> um. How you been, Pharos? I'm just here to steal more from you. <laughs> Exogeny scientist, nice. <laughs> I have to go back to well, I gotta look at my all my stuff I feel like I've been to this maybe signal confirmed <laughs> pick up self <laughs> that's it Asian oh. successful hey there's my gun hold on I even know there's other places <laughs> can we make it Eh. Conserve. <laughs> I found something. I was like, there's only one option here. <laughs> Garug was a bargain world given to the Crozens to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. Of course. Krogan had completely adapted, breeding hundreds of younglings per family in vast underground bunkers by the next turn. Of the century, Garvug's narrow strips of coral reef had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants, and Exus Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. <laughs> we trusted to check their own numbers. Today, Garvug is a frozen wasteland home to a corporate eco-engineering efforts trying to implement sustainable agri- and aquaculture practices. Nice. Constant threat, though. Hey, maybe now everything will be much better. Damn it. Why'd it have me go that way? <laughs> Probably would have been faster going the other way. Data drives. Ooh. Oh, I think I remember where that one was. I think. Yes, give me fuel. I gotta get out of here. Only 160. That's it. So if I make Faster it. Than light jump successful. Just gotta make it there. Come on, come on, come on. Whew. Will we make it back? <laughs> Signal confirmed. Emergency fuel pods. Thirty-three. Thirty-three percent. Okay, calm down. Evasion calm successful. Down. It's not that serious. What? Where in the hell would other things be? Reapers eluded. you are <laughs> my god I'm in zero converter 
Oof. Faster than light jump successful. I'll be taking this. Nice. It's a lot more fuel. Okay, Asian now successful. we can go. Yeah, I'm I'm gone. Reapers eluded. What are you hiding on here? I found something. <laughs> I read that as Shrek. So. <laughs> um, overshadowed by the economy of a low seal and scientific research on. Doldit, the solar system's middle child, Cherksab, has the only functioning helium-3 fuel apparatus on the system, as the Reapers have not yet struck there. Interesting. Volus fabrication units. Nice. 33% assets to go. Oh, God. Reapers eluded. Homeworld. Yeah. Nice. Oh, why it's got a weird. They always have a weird aura around it. I swear I've never noticed that. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. Hey, the Book of Phoenix. Nice. Why that looks so weird? Oh, see, it's normal now. I knew I wasn't crazy. The game's trying to make me seem crazy. No! What is that? <laughs> they were on me the moment. I feel absolutely cheated. <laughs> I thought they'd slow down and then have to re-get me. No, they were perfectly just on me. Faster than light jump Calm successful. down. Oh god. You guys are all Evasion right here. successful. Fine, I'm out of here. Eluded. I'll be back. <laughs> Signal confirmed. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's hard to see. Oh, there we go. Bam, bam. Wallace Dreadnought, who knew? In and out with fuel. Very convenient. I'm gone. Faster than light jump successful. Let's get near some planets. Of course, it's probably gonna be here, isn't it? I found something. Yeah. <laughs> It's always like wherever they're gonna enter, that's where the plant the planet closest to that. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> Every single time. It's like they know what I want. Volus engineering team. Oh yes. Now I'm just gonna leave. Evasion successful. And then come back. And then bam, two hundred to make up for that. Bye. Reapers eluded. And then Nuda. Signal confirmed. Ooh, 
Wall's intelligence archives. Interesting, I will take that. And this. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Now we gotta just find the field deposit on here. <laughs> no! Calculated. Yeah, I'm gonna leave and come back. Faster than light jump successful. Actual pain in my butt. Go away. No. Evasion yeah, that's right. Get, <laughs> get wrecked. I found something. Nice. Some for you. Holy. Not just some, all of it. You know, I'll be back. I bet it's that back planet. Reapers eluded. Maybe I'll go investigate that sorry colony. Signal confirmed. Oh, that's everything here. Let's go investigate this, because I'm curious. Is this what I think it is? This is... Start with Lesus. It's an unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside the comfort zone of the its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high, its disease is a little too vir virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lesus. Normally, a garden world would settle so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lesus' night sky or side. Okay, let's go. Oh, I can bring Caden now. <laughs> me invites Caden also. Me probably never gonna take Caden. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caden. Maybe, okay. I'm sorry. Definitely take Liara though. And. Should I take Javik or Garrus? Take Garrus this time. Did you get any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ooh. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Mm hmm. Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. And that's what. She but was it doesn't to mean do. they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Hmm. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. That's crazy. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here gonna be interesting. I'm glad I brought Liara. I'm terrified though. Hey Garrus, be careful, okay? You're quite the looker, okay? 
Hmm. Okay, I'm just check around. I see something over here. I'll be taking that. Okay, let's go. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I went flying down that. What is that noise? It's like a oh, horse sound. Yeah. <laughs> There's more than one out there. I'm terrified. <clears throat> I didn't know I was playing a horror game, okay? <laughs> I'm so scared. And it's dark. What was that? Stay sharp. Where are we supposed to go? Mm -hmm. To our staff and students, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jurthra. Wow, they wake up at 5.30, and then they have breakfast at 5.45, morning meditation at 6.15, for almost two hours, Jesus, and then they study and then chores, and then they eat lunch, and they have classes, and then more study time, and then dinner, and then more meditation, and then two hours of freedom, and then sleep. Sounds like hell. <laughs> Mine. That's a lot of meditation. Maybe it's to help keep their. Oh. <laughs> Reapers. Looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Hmm. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. But I got some exploring to do. Isn't it odd that they'd be here? Delay. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. I heard something. Yeah, I did too. That was me. Sorry. Damn it, Garrus. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, Galay's electronic signature. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I don't remember if I need that, but <laughs> I probably do. Let's go. I'm out of here. It's too creepy in here for me to leave. Is that where we came from? Yes. Oh, don't hide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Well, it's actually quite pretty here. Wow. Hmm. Looks like that's the way we're going, but let me check over here really quick. Can't go through here at all. Nothing, damn it.
Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara. <laughs> it has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings a Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. No. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. Yeah. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. Oh god. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Poor Samara. Oh, that's where I'm going. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. What? Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. <gasps> oh. I will get it to her. Don't worry. It's too quiet. Are there any survivors? This fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Hmm. What if there are. I mean. I'm surprised they actually didn't use the opportunity to either try to get out. Or that, or they got taken. That one's new. I'm terrified. What is that? I'm actually. Anything. What happened there? Either she stopped my charging or I just was just not allowed to charge. That one's new. That was odd. I'm terrifying. Damn it, I did it again. I'm trying to do the other one to just put this on. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. It's weird. It's like she broke all my powers. I can't use anything. That or I just can't charge? Even though I charged before. Protected by armor. I should be able to charge. Yeah. Okay.
thing. I can't charge sometimes. Whoa. This is creepy. <laughs> Come out now. That was odd. I don't know what was happening with my powers there. I could not figure out what was causing that. I didn't get a chance to read it if it did say anything. But every time I checked, I could do it, so <laughs> I don't know what was going on. hoping he would stand up when he did it. <laughs> that used to be a person. And a sorry. What yeah, that's terrifying. Done? That's what they want to do. Are you kidding me? That thing was <laughs> terrifying. Imagine just having a few of those. They can get into tight places. So man imagine the damage that they could do with that. <sighs> man, I want to get into the Reaper's minds. Figure out truly their purpose. Where they came from, you know? They like to pretend that they were the creators of so much and they've been alive for so long, but... If they keep changing, I mean, how much of them is really left, right? <laughs> Mother, you came as soon as I was able. Shepherd, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Valère! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Oh god. I'll be there in a second. Hmm. This looks broken, but... You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. Okay. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. It does look really pretty. And it does seem that the Arnak Yakshi are at peace here. Which is... Jathra, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Sessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Jethro, this is <laughs> I didn't even know. Are they just finding out about this now then? Oh, 
Garrus, what are you coming out of there for? <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Check that out later. Ooh. Take that. Council shoulder guard. Gotta look at some of those. Put some new stuff on. Jethrai, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar for us, said she had trouble convincing the prisoners coming to the monastery was necessary. This may seem this may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora was wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some of the other Justicars on the level of coercion for us permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captors arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Ooh. Jethra, I looked over the last year's candidates for super, uh, for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and the worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious that she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray that Yanis manip that it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their homeworld. Unless Yanis ma matures, she won't be among them. This is getting interesting. What do you have to say about this, Liara? Okay, they went. Oh god. I'm terrified already. Scared, go away. <laughs> out these first. Mid Nova, <laughs> I I I don't agree with whatever just happened of me getting stabbed in the heart. <laughs> I don't agree. With it. <laughs> she body blocked me so hard. I I'm stuck on something. I don't even know what I'm stuck on the wall. Like what happened there? <laughs> Jesus Christ, they are. Why are you trying to run that way right now? <laughs> what the hell? Is it gone? Jesus. I can't tell. No, it's not. <laughs> I had to check. God, running and aiming. Ooh. 
<laughs> I'm like trying to, I want to like look behind me while I'm running, but it's just damn. Great game to heal me. <laughs> what is happening? I've never seen my shields not exist for so long. <laughs> She's dead? Is she alive? I, I can't tell. She was teleporting. <laughs> my god. That was a nightmare. You guys okay? Yaris, how are you feeling? You guys look scared still. <laughs> I am too. Hmm, this looks... Oh, what's that? Hold on, let me just grab this. Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. No doubt. I guess we're going deeper. I don't like what they're doing here. Oh, God. oh, I thought you guys left me. <laughs> Why are you both in this corner? I thought I was all alone for a second. It was terrifying. I need the bomb. Mm. There's our bomb. I don't have and a good feeling about this. Rila, wake up. Falea, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. What's happening, though? She doesn't look like one of them. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? They've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm, I'm sorry. Fast it happens. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Oh, God. No, oh, please. Wait. Two! One was bad enough. Okay, that went way too far. 
It like does constant damage. Yes, be careful. Garrus, no. She end your life like she ended mine. I'll come around for you. I don't even know what to do with this. Like none of this seems safe to use. <laughs> this and then that One down. Oh, that's the last one. For now, <sighs> let's get back to that bomb. For now, please, no. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I don't want any more. Are you guys okay? For me, there are hundreds coming. Just go. Hundreds of God. Oh, she has it. Oh. Move. No, Rila. I love you, Rila. They look so creepy, man. Blech. even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die Rila made her choice and it has reminded me of what is truly important why I swore I'd lay down my life what is that Valer, 
The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Falaire. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so. No! Let go. Oh, God. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valère? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. It's just so sad, though. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. <laughs> I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Aww. <laughs> I'd be honored. <laughs> the honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. <laughs> Commander, I'm pleased to hear the Ardot Yakshi situation has been put to rest. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command, Counselor? I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Commander. Hmm. Oh, that was intense. Found a lot of stuff, though. We got the Volus Dreadnought Kunu. Named after the diplomat who negotiated their client race status with the Turians, Quinu is the only Volus ship of its class, but is remarkably well armed. Its broadside cannons and main gun are all Thanix magnetic hydrodynamic weapons. A Turian general touring the Quinu after its maiden system voyage enthusiastically declared that the ship could char a planet three times over while its construction was funded entirely by the Alcos Com Combine Corporation. The Dreadnought was jointly gifted to the Vol Protectorate and Turian Hierarchy upon completion. We got a lot of Asari stuff too. Look, we have Samara. <laughs> Some Asari commandos. The Nefrain is named after the lost city said to be buried in ice at Thessia's South Pole. The cruiser still carries scars from the scores of Geth fighters it took on during the Battle of the Citadel in 2183. The crew refuses to have the scars removed, considering them marks of honor and a reminder of how close they came to annihil annihilation. The Asari scientists in Orasoni had isolated themselves to prevent academic and corporate theft of their work. They had been researching new polymers, looking for a material with high heat resistance and zero conductivity that is dirt cheap to produce. One of their prototype materials appears ideal for insulating in crucibles venting chambers. Sorry, Cruiser Kaibane. It's a cruiser class warship. A mix-up during the cruiser's construction left it with an unusually large drive core and engineers redesigned the ship around the excessive, excessive power source. The Cybane's unusually robust engines pro provide enough energy to generate kinetic barriers normally reserved for dreadnoughts. Ooh, it does look really pretty. Also, these are all going there. I see. Let's 
slowly building it up. Slowly but surely. The question is, where is... Where is she gonna Super be? Super seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Yeah, exactly. It makes you wonder what's going on. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Oh, really? Jesus! <laughs> Found something. Miranda Lawson, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad. But there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you the nav point when you get here. Ooh. Dinner? Hey, Shepard, I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. We should try Apollo's. It's the little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. Um. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I I'm with Liara. <laughs> yes. I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't. Fight a war without a little R and R once in a while. I'll be hanging around Seasec near the shuttles if you're interested. Sounds like a plan. Um, headed for the front lines, Samara Shepard. I finished the my business on the sis. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it's most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do about my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. So you're not gonna join us? So sad. Corrine LeMays. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, a sorry high command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you allow my, me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who were went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Getting away from work? Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. That sounds like my kind of plan. Oh, Javik. Commander, I find this message system, <laughs> messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed specialist trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been a captured by reapers if you would like to join me i will be in the area where the embassies are located i believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie <laughs> okay <laughs> we're going back to the citadel <laughs> i'll explore more i want to do that cerberus thing in the next one but right now it is time to go spend some time <laughs> elsewhere damn i could really use something to shoot right now what what <laughs> Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the <laughs> galaxy. Which would be... Commander. Oh. Hello, Shepard. Hi. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so oh. now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moth. <laughs> True. Oh? That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunka was destroyed by a worm. <laughs> this has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Hmm. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Gep and the Reapers. Hmm. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. 
I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> I love quantum computing. <laughs> Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. No, but how are you guys doing? Whoa, I jumped over your chair, I'm sorry. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. Oh, with the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. Hmm. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. I, that is not something I would have ever thought of. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Hello. Commander. Bye. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> no promises. Anyone hiding in there? Nope. Anyone hiding in here? Oh yeah, this is yours. I forgot. <laughs> that was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. Hmm. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Probably. <laughs> Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Everybody was fighting the Rachni trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, We've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Ja. So, <laughs> I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. <laughs> no. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. Wow. I hope you guys had alcohol. <laughs> Seem we're having a fun time in here. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. Yeah, I don't even want to know. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. <laughs> Your species has much to learn. <laughs> Commander. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> Samar is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. <laughs> now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I agree. After seeing what they did to ugh, some of you guys and the Krogan, I can only past. imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Yeah, I'm worried about the Vorcha because they have insane adaptability. So imagine what powers they could get by taking them over. You got anything else, Gavis? Good to see you. Oh, okay. It's a brilliant okay. tactic when you think about it. <laughs> but it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The yep. one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. Mm -hmm. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. 
But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise That's after true. another. That is true. Let's see what Liara is up to. Oh, Liara! I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. <laughs> I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Cute. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. Me too. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. Same. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Ready for the next mission? I am also ready for us to go to dinner together. I'm excited. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in. Hmm. non salarian species should it be sufficiently profitable venture one of these upgrades could be commissioned although its construction would be time consuming and must be custom made interesting the data you recovered I did commander it. i'm out of there Well, Garrus isn't over there. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Yes, I will do Speak that. Speak to Tactus. <laughs> you should be able to find him near the docks. Okay, okay. We have a lot to do. I'm very stressed about it, but... We got this. Da-da-da-da. To engineering. Well, Vajavik's not even down here, but we'll check around, I guess. All good, Commander. I'm snooping around in there. <laughs> I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly no, superior. No, no. James is right. Come on. That thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako exactly. can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. I no never had a problem. Whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb exactly. and climb for days. <laughs> I'm with James on this one. It only climbs <laughs> because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Yeah, this doesn't hey, explode in like, like two that, seconds. It needs to move. Yeah, exactly. If you want that, why don't you just stick <laughs> with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> the next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? <laughs> I worry about you. <laughs> Is everything okay, Shepard? No. I'm out of here. What you want? Hey. 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 That's all you got? I don't want to talk to you anyways. Sarah mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Yeah, I'm excited. And? The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. Yeah, I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Commander. Okay, well, I guess we're going back to the Citadel. I'm terrified. <sighs> I gotta go, like, all the way back. Okay. <laughs> Know if I'm gonna make it. Jesus, that was so far. I found something. Yes, 
give it to me. 300 units of fuel. Only fuel on here, how sad. Faster than light jump successful. Hey, at least it's enough to get us back. <laughs> Oh, damn. Nice. Oh. It's not what I <laughs> thought I pressed. The Tracos' tra tra colonists are fighting the Reapers in guerrilla war, their best resource being submarine vehicles that can slip under the sea ice to mask their heat. Unfortunately, these have not proven good tools for taking back population centers from the Reapers, and now the colonists will have to be satisfied with commando actions to harass their synthetic oppressors. Bam. Intact Reaper weapon. Ooh, didn't someone need that, I think, right? Oh god. We're gonna have to make our rounds, definitely, on the Citadel. <laughs> okay. Thanks, <laughs> Oh. Oh. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garvo. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. No problem. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. <laughs> Don't worry. I understand. <laughs> you got yelled at last time for <laughs> saying it out loud. <laughs> That's funny. Is anyone here? Garrus? Where are you, Garrus? I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. I was like, what am I getting hit by? Little <laughs> keeper. I'm Garrus, where are you? Garrus? Garrus? Shepard, if you're Garrus. feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. I am. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. <laughs> I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. Nice. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Oh god, where are we going? <laughs> I'm worried now. <laughs> where is Garrus taking me? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Oh? <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Yes. Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> How far is that? Uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. <laughs> You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't no. we, Shepard? <laughs> times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. 
once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. Oh god. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people <laughs> in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, <laughs> No comment. Excuse me. All right, me? Kyrian, you're going down. <laughs> and don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. Oh god. Okay. That's that was an easy one. <laughs> Let you build up your confidence. <laughs> Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> Come on, throw it. Give him the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> I said a tough one. <laughs> Step aside. Oh, I can miss on purpose? But what? <laughs> what is this option? <laughs> What if I just shoot the target, though? They make it seem like that's bad. But I want to actually try. I don't know what to choose! <laughs> this is such a weird option. I, I don't know which one to choose. I either go easy on him or not. Do it. <laughs> Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound evil? <laughs> that was cute. Aw, that was adorable. I'm sorry, Garrus. If I miss, I miss by my own volition. Are you still in here? No. That was adorable, though. Spectre status recognized. Let's Please go to the embassies, because Javik said he was going to be over here to see the lies that everyone <laughs> has. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. What's going on over there? Is happening. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, oh, Jeffy, there you are. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Hmm. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Oh? Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. Oh god. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. 
The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among uh, them. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> but you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. <laughs> He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. The face. He's I've like, enjoyed the my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Bye. I've gotten the ground is freaking out. Man, I'm like still thinking about whether or not I should have shot the bottle. <laughs> Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. Ooh. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors. Maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank Aww. you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. What you doing over here? I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Falaire is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. <laughs> it is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Yes. I will. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. True. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Mm -hmm. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code, left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. 
Good luck out there, Samara. Oh, you stay well. safe. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Ah. Oh. Cerberus forces have attacked civilians on Benny. Hugs. The Alliance. Oh. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard. Oh. Cerberus forces. You guys all better stay Krogan. safe. Oh, Apparently Jeffy Kit is gone. <laughs> Where did we go? Krogan ground defenses repelled. I'm calling that one there. I'm gonna probably explore around the Citadel a little more in the next one. There's still a lot to do, so I don't even know what we're gonna end up doing in the next one. We'll see. <laughs> Huge thanks to all my patrons, and I'll see you guys then, though.